One of the fundamental things that you must be able to do with your dog if you want to be able to train most things is be able to lure them. And a lure is nothing more than getting something that your dog is interested in. Nine times out of ten, it's a piece of food. You can see my mate Sid here is losing his mind for and luring them into the position. But to start with, I always just teach them the principle of following this means that eventually you're most likely going to get it. So for a dog like Sid, approximately 10 hours later, And again, a breed as mental as a Cocker Spaniel will follow this forever if they think it's going to get them what they want. What we could end up doing is turning that into a variety of different behaviours. Including a sit, a down, a heel, sit, good, a middle, good, place, Good. Sit. Down. Yes, good boy. Break. All built of luring him into those positions in the first place. Place. Yes. Break. Yes. Place. Yes. Break. Yes. Place. Yes, he's a good boy. Place training is so incredibly useful and absolutely is something that you should be doing with your dog every single day. It's one of those things that once you have it, you will use it all the time and be so glad that you did. Guests coming over to your house, place train them. You're cooking with hot pans, you don't want your dog in the way, place train them. You want your kids to be able to play on the floor and not get knocked over by dogs, place train them. The postman's coming down the drive and you don't want them barking at the window, place train them. You will use it multiple times every single day, so place train your dog and you can thank me later. Socialization isn't just important for your dog when they're a puppy, it's important for the entirety of your dog's life. Now I live out in the middle of the countryside, so coming to industrial environments like this isn't something that I get to work on all the time with my dog, which is exactly what we're working on with puppy here today. So we're in an industrial environment with clangs and bangs and building going on all the time. We're working with distractions with other dogs going around her. And all I need her to do is to remember to be calm, relaxed, and when need be, look up to me for guidance and direction. So even though she's eyeing other things off in the distance, if I don't even have to ask for it, and she's checking back in. When she does that, I can praise and reward, and that is the essence of socialization. It isn't just chucking your dog into tons of different environments, it's about exposing them and desensitizing them to different stimuli, whilst helping them remain calm, and more importantly, looking up to you for guidance and direction, because if they're doing that, you can ask them what it is that you do want from them and don't want from them, which means you can keep them under control no matter what's going on. So as you can see, this for Uncle Sully is his favorite thing. This and a tennis ball gets him super jacked up. But I always talk about the importance of eye contact of a dog that looks up to you for guidance and direction. So as always, when you discover what your dog's favorite thing is, use it to your advantage. And an eye contact drill that you can do super easy looks just like this. So Sully's gonna want to look at it, and I'm waiting. Good boy, he knows better. He's bringing his eye contact back. Yes, good boy. Same again. Every time he brings his eye, yes, good boy. I'm marking it, letting him know that's exactly what I want. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy, break. And then eventually he gets rewarded with the item. He can't control himself. He wants to look, but then he goes, I know I need to look back at the boss. I need to look up to guidance and direction. I know I'm not going to get that thing unless I'm looking up to my loving leader for guidance and direction. When he does that, he gets it. We build on that. And then your dog does that all the time. It doesn't matter what's going on around them. They're focused on you. When your dog's focused on you, you can tell them what you want them to do, what you don't want them to do perfectly behaved dog all starts with engagement engagement is built on eye contact drills like this build it now if you've seen even one of my other videos you've probably heard me talking about the importance of loose lead walking and why it's so powerful for your dogs their behavior and your relationship with them but one thing that we don't talk about anywhere near as much is why it's so powerful for you i truly believe that walking dogs is one of the main areas that I'm able to stay mentally happy and healthy. It is the single best thing that I can do for my mental health. And whenever I'm struggling with it, nothing beats getting out in the great outdoors, in the peace and quiet, migrating with my pack.